Hey, Chorby family. David Brooks here, Chorby Fort Worth. I wanted to uh, point out something real quick. Um, so if you can see right here, let's go ahead and flip this around. There we go. Look at this. Beautiful green lawn. Customers, well, the neighbor's not doing so hot, but the yard's green and great. But if we look right over here, uh-oh, starting to get some issues. So this is when you start getting heat stress, this is how it starts out with. You'll see right here we've got the grass is thinning. It's starting to turn kind of a brownish color. And you'll notice, if you look real close, you'll notice that the, it actually gets darker before it starts to brown. So if you start to see patches of your yard getting really dark, um, go over there, check them out, see if the grass is thinning out. And um, the number one thing that I usually see with this is as, as we look at the, the yard as a whole, I mean, you can kind of see here. So look at the yard as a whole. They're watering the yard properly. There's no problem with how long they're running the water. There's no problem with how long uh, their sprinklers are running. This yard here is being watered the right amount. So what's likely the case is they're not getting good coverage or good absorption in here. That could be because of too much of a slant. It could also be just the sprinklers not covering this area. It's not overlapping in that area uh, properly. So just a quick trip, a uh, quick tip for you. If you're starting to see some yellowing areas and you know you're watering properly, turn the sprinklers on, take a look, make sure they're not spraying directly into the grass or, or make sure they're reaching over into those areas. All right, we'll see you on the next one.